good friends, how's it going? A new Sims pack just came out and it's all about being a chef. So you know what we gotta do? We gotta absolutely ruin it. A lot of people die in this episode, not surprisingly. The ranch that I bought is going absolutely bankrupt. So we're gonna try and make some money and kill people while doing it. So here we are, here's me, Jim Pickens, and here's my son, Jim Pickens Jr. <laughs> He's a rascal. We've got the whole ranch here, but we've got kind of a small kitchen. Oh, I have another gnome. I'll call this one foreshadowing. There we go, bigger kitchen. I might just build through you there. If you don't mind, thank you. I need this stall. <laughs> Apparently, I can carry this around with me and bring it anywhere I want. Oh, we can make pizza. Why does The Sims not have pizza already? Even though the spiciest spice that I use is salt, I'm going to give him the whole bunch. I'll keep the extra sharp knives here by my death gnome. I have none of these ingredients, even though I live on a ranch. So I guess I'll just cook frozen pizzas and we'll cook up some puffer fish. That's right, Jim. Don't bother washing your hands. It's not important. We need to get to work. Oh, wait, before we get to work, hold on one second. I see some treasure outside. Put that in your inventory. There we go. Huh? Now, as I said, no time to lose. Don't wash your hands. Let's get preparing. <laughs> He's not moving. There's just that happy tune playing and he's just standing here dead inside. I don't think he likes his new business. Okay, put an inventory. We're about to get this party started. Or you're just gonna stand there staring at me. You're wondering who that is? By the way, that's me. I just kind of leave him to himself and see what he gets up to. Whose ah! horse is that? It's my horse that looks like a man. Yeah, don't worry. I'm scared too. All right, let's get out there and sell my pizzas. Which neighborhood should I go to? I think maybe the big city. Plenty of people to kill. Uh, lots of money to be made. I think I'll go to this penthouse karaoke bar. And I'm also going to bring my horse and Kevin Pickens. I don't know which one is worse. Now, where can I set up here without asking? Uh -huh. This seems reasonable. <laughs> that is the elevator up. There we go. Set up the pizzas. Change business details. Food to die for. Speaking of food to die for, that kind of leads me into today's sponsor. That's right. Thank you to Factor for sponsoring this video. Factor is a meal delivery service that takes fresh, gourmet, chef-made, dietitian approved meals that are delivered right to your door. As the meals are delivered ready to cook, all you gotta do is heat them up and you can get back to gaming. Or if you do other stuff. I don't know, do people do more stuff than gaming? There is a wide variety of food to choose from here. It's chicken, pork, grilled steakhouse, pork chop, pancakes, shrimp. The menu changes every week, so you've always got something new to try. Long-time viewers may know that I'm something of a chef, so factor service fits in perfectly for when I want to impress my family with an amazing meal, but I don't have the, uh, time to cook. Don't show them that. Stop sh Take that down! Put up some- That's better. Factor also offers gourmet plus meals as part of your weekly options, which means you can get a little gourmet with your meal plan whenever you're craving something special. So if you don't want to prepare a meal from scratch, maybe you don't have the abilities or the time after all, we're gamers, or you don't want to head out to the shops, because after all, we're gamers, you can head to factor75.com or click the link below and use the code CMK50 to get 50% off your first factor box. So yeah, if that's of interest to you, you can check that out in the description. Thank you very much for watching this. Thank you to Factor for sponsoring the channel, and I hope you enjoy the rest of the video. Ah. I'm sure you don't mind, right? We're pretty much a cooperative business at this rate. <laughs> I'll just prepare it here if you don't mind. Hey, you guys like sushi? If you wait five minutes, you can get sushi from me instead of lame drinks from her. Oh, they're loving it. No, you're loving it. No, you don't eat it, whatever you do. Wait, I can't put this on my table. What the heck? All right, put that down. Maybe I can put that down too. Maybe I can get a single one. Hey, sorry if you're having a conversation. Just want to come in between you guys and make some sushi. Ah, so, so. I can sell my horse manure, but it's not allowing me to sell my puffer fish. What the hell? Just leave it up there. It's the special ingredient. And now any review that says my food is shit, I'll just say they're being playful. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I got it sorted. Markup prices. I don't know. I cheap. <laughs> I'm not in this for the money. Everyone's leaving. Hey, come back. <laughs> okay, I'm ending early because everyone left. And well, that puffer fish looks too nice at the moment. They've got a performer who seems to have some sort of stage fright. He's performing to the wall. <laughs> no, don't eat that, you idiot. Stop it. Stop it. Why? Every time. <laughs> Are you serious? He has one bite and he immediately dies. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that sounds about right. That's my luck. You see, normally I'd look like this. But right now, I'm pretty happy. 
happy that I, I saved just a few minutes prior. I, I'm used to causing chaos and accidentally killing myself. There we go. I took it out of his inventory so he can't eat it now. Normal quality horse manure goes back on the shelf. Also bringing an urn of a former victim. Okay, what's universally liked that I can have as a second option? Pineapple pizza. Let's talk about it in the comments. Look at this man pretending like he has made pizza before in his life. Wielding all these pots and pans is leaving a bad taste in Jim's mouth. Should Jim throw in the towel and accept that he dislikes cooking? Um, no. Hey, hey, don't leave. Don't leave. I got food. Right. Well, I don't have food, but I got shit. And you want some fresh shit? Jim walking over like, we sell the dopest shit over here. Come on over. Live. <laughs> but knowing my luck, only my guy would buy it. <laughs> yes. Start food sale. Honestly, if someone dies, I feel like they can't even sue me. With the urn and the horse manure out there. Come on. You can sniff, but do not taste. So everyone is storming off sad or angry, and I don't know if I have anything to do with that. I hope this guy is over his stage fright, because this looks pretty intense. Oh, I brought some trash with me. Hold on, let me just throw it over there. <laughs> nice. Cold pizza! Get your cold pizza here! No one is buying my food, and I can't for the life of me think of why. Oh, it's because it's New Year's Eve. That must be it. Convinced to buy, I don't know, the urn, maybe? <laughs> I don't know who owns it. Probably best I don't have this evidence on my person. They left. Would you like an urn? I think you've earned it. Yeah, the puns work. They immediately left. That's a bit concerning. Oh, this guy's my friend. I remember him. Do you want to buy some puffer fish? He immediately walks back. He's in my club, trapped and afraid. You know what it is? I'm, I'm too close to the elevator. I'm intimidating them. These people are already being bothered by Kevin for some reason in the bathroom. I'm going to come in here and give a sales pitch. You know what public bathrooms always get me in the mood for? Sushi. I know you're in the middle of your act, but would you like some sushi? He's the only person who, like, can't leave. He's pooping in the dark and he's very scared right now. <laughs> okay, round two. Let's do this. <gasps> we have a customer. It actually was too close to the elevator. I'm starving to death, but I won't eat my own food. That kind of says a lot. Oh, this guy trusts me. Definitely go for the puffer fish. Well, he bought it and he's walking away with it. Wait, where's he putting? Hey, no, you have to eat it. Don't just buy it out of politeness and throw it on the ground. Although I do appreciate it. <laughs> You're my favorite customer so far. Okay, I think the location, location, location might be wrong. Like all those food vendors are down on the ground level. I made $10. <laughs> Excellent. Where's my horse, by the way? I miss him. Ooh, university. They do say children are the future. So this is a good opportunity to ruin the future. A library. Perfect. They'll learn a valuable lesson, all right. Yes, my horse came this time. Yeah, this is legal. I, I have a permit. I just forgot it. Oh my god, the horse scared me there. It came out of nowhere. I think it's going into a panic. Reasonable. I imagine how terrifying it would be to just see this horse staring in the window at you, though. Although not quite as terrifying as that horse running into the building and sneaking up behind you. Oh, we have Kevin at the table. He's charming them all for once. He's just standing there and they're buying things. Maybe he's just more trustable. Like, look at him and his little leprechaun ass. Yes, everyone eat up. Yes, enjoy. Entrepreneur, young adults, so full of life. Oh, except you, you're an elder. You could die any minute now and it would be totally coincidental. Oh my god, they can't get enough. I gotta make more sushi. Oh, the one customer who'd actually be safe eating my food. Dude, don't you dare. Get away from there. What are you doing? Well, that's where you're storing and making it. I was wondering. Yeah, we don't have a health license, just so everyone's aware. And we don't claim to have one. Therefore, that makes all of this okay. <laughs> Horses out here scaring Kevin. Creeping. Eating low quality or eating in a bad mood. All right, I gotta rile up the people. That could apparently encourage them to die. Yeah, you enjoy that sushi? I hope you choke on it. Oh, I thought he actually was going to for a second. Why are you feeling confident given this old man is physically and verbally attacking you? Now he's very angry. You go ahead and buy something. Wang, Lord Kim. <laughs> I'm just mocking him as he eats the sushi. A child just took a book out of his back. Bridge! You see, the problem right now is I think Jim is too good of a chef. Oh, my book. I'm trapped. If you find this, please help. Just earn me $5. I love how unhinged these videos must appear to people who have not watched them before. I assume the rest of you just have Stockholm Syndrome at this point. I invited this woman as a caterer thinking she might make worse puffer fish. And now she's getting stared down by my horse. And I've come in to just scare her because, well, she can't do it. I assume they think the horse is actually just a regular man. <laughs> what timing?
But yeah, they just keep talking to him. They have no issue with this horse walking around the library. Kevin out here completely naked, save for his umbrella, filling up the hay. Sorry, public library. My horse needs this. He's a growing boy. <laughs> a normal human boy. You can tell because he has human ears and a human mouth. Now, Jim, don't shit where you eat. And for those of you that are new, um, yeah, the, the horse is also called Jim. It's a little confusing. Never hurts to have a scapegoat, though. Or in this case, a scape horse. Jim is in here bullying a child. He's really angry for some reason. It's like, get out of my kitchen. I'm trying to focus. Nala. Oh my god, they're both just having a tantrum. Go away, you're at fault, not me. This place is destroyed, and I don't know, was it Kevin, Jim, or Jim? What I do know is, this food is all getting stale. Why are you purchasing animals? What are you doing? Oh, you know, whatever. I, I didn't ask him to do that, but now we've got a goat. Place in world. He just sets it free. <laughs> this is why I keep him in the family. This is what he gets up to. To be fair, he is erratic. Jim is off for a ride on the horse. Indoor. What? What is this? Purchase goat. Like, I was confused last time, but who is this? I guess buy a couple of goats. I don't know. Are they just asking for advice or what? What the hell is this? Who are you? <laughs> you get some goats too. Wait, that comes out on my money? What kind of goats were they? It cost me eight grand. Okay, I really need this food business to generate some income. I also really need my horse's head to get out of that wall. It's freaking me out. Okay, now it's just asking me if the whole town wants goats. I don't want to be the one responsible for this. It's too much pressure. Really wish I didn't buy all those goats. I just got my tax bill and it's nearly 18,000 simoleons. So let's hope this sale goes well. Well, better get this bake sale started to save the ranch. I don't think this is what they'll expect when they see that leaflet. No, it's not stinky. Buy some. Okay, dude, tag in Kevin. For some reason, they like him way more. What happened to you? What the? I left you alone for one second. Oh, they're all going for the pineapple on pizza, those idiots. What an awful choice of food. Hey, what are you doing with that? You gotta pay. What? How dare you? <laughs> this is to save the ranch. It's bad when your food is being mistaken for trash that someone just throws away. Okay, we're out of pizza, everyone, but we still have a ranch to save. I'm taking orders. Someone else feels bad and is cooking pizza for the ranch. But please, just buy the puffer fish. No, that's the shit. It's not the food. It's fine buy something. What? Someone bought the shit over the food. But someone did buy the packed lunch. Maybe they didn't know what was in it. Come on, you got one choice here. Buy some of the puffer fish. It's the other one. No, they're taking the packed lunch home. Uh, maybe they'll die later. I think it's my clothes that are making the customers cry. Hold on one second. Let me change. Look, everyone. I'm a rancher. I forgot my pants. They're literally weeping. All right, Kevin, tag in. Come on. Yeah, and you do the sales pitch. That's not a sales pitch. <laughs> what? You're freaking everyone out, man. Zatorb. He's trying to go to work. No, get back here. This is your work now. This is how you earn money. Wait, are you part of a rival restaurant? Or could I perhaps sell you? Uh, Kevin has taken the food. I can't cancel anything because he's just going. I don't understand what he's doing. He's putting it away. Well, they're eating it anyway. <laughs> However, I am out. I didn't think I was. Is, was that all of it? This pizza has been cooking for hours. I'm about to get my power shut off. Things are looking bad. And I don't think this is going to fix it. But I do think I have a genius plan. I'm buying a restaurant. Isn't that a cute family photo, by the way? I think that would be the cover of our first album. And I think my chef will be this person. <laughs> they have absolutely no skills in cooking whatsoever. The restaurant menu will be water and I just want a specialty, really. Let's go with pufferfish. And can I get pizza also? Or can you only sell that at a stand? Oh no, you can get pizza. Well, part of a pizza. If I ordered a pizza and just this came out, I'd be pissed. You either get water or the most expensive wine on the planet. One or the other. Difficulty five out of five and we have no experience whatsoever. The chef has to be naked. Enjoy the oil burns. Uh, wear your best to save them having to change you for your funeral. And now we set up my stand. Okay, we've opened the restaurant. But since they'll be so bad, surely people will eat from here instead. This guy is like, ah, so this is Koo King. Jim Pickens' personality swap. He's now cheerful instead of hot-headed. Now, I'm no chef either, but black smoke is bad, yes? It's complaining that he needs more training to cook everything. <laughs> they don't like the wine, and the meal is very dangerous. Where's he gone? What, what are you doing? <laughs> I love how they're all in their formal for this. <laughs> this guy doesn't give a dog. Oh, no, she's like dry heaving just looking at the meal. That's a reviewer, great. Glimmel! 
Good, good. The reviewer's enjoying the jumping puddle. The poor animals probably aren't. There are ducks and fish in that pond. Okay, reviews are going up. Oh, someone ordered the pizza? No, 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 no. That's not allowed. You you go away. Hey, sorry. Yeah, that the pizza's not really encouraged. I know it's on the menu, but I'm gonna go sell it at my stall now. Anyone who orders the pizza just gets it stolen off them immediately, and then I'll sell it again. If they're not gonna die, I need double the profit. Side note, this is what I look like when a bright light shines on me. He's taking a drink now as well. What, what is happening here? What's wrong? Oh, okay, you're dying from choking, but you're really angry about it. I guess you you kind of understand this whole thing is a setup. Seduce into sparing Jess. Jim fears dead too much to plead with the Grim Reaper doing work. Okay, we'll just move this out to the garden, I guess. Is it legally mine since she died here? So far, we're making some money here. That profit's gonna go up even more when I put my final piece of the puzzle together. Okay, we got some bad weather for it, but I'm still confident in my plan. There's someone showering outside naked and for once it's not me. Oh dear lord, that was lightning. Someone got hit. That It'll be a bad review anyway, and it's not even my fault. Well, I managed to sell the secondhand pizza that was left over from yesterday. Now the good stuff can come out. Okay, now both options look like they may have a chance of death. Not sure the pizza's looking so good anymore. But nothing stops the giant wheel of capitalism turning. Business must go on. And now that I have enough perk points to buy ingredient quality options, I can not only lower the quality, but profit while doing so. We're gonna mark up the price, spend more on marketing, and we don't serve pizza anymore. We somehow think it's a four-star restaurant. Okay, not anymore. He's coming to his senses. No, because the wine is awful. Never mind that there was dirty dishes and their food was served over here. One day they'll see the light. Maybe once they start eating these bad ingredients, they'll understand that I am the better option. I feel like Jim here is trying that theory where, you know, if you stand around ugly people, you'll look better, but in business form. Oh, they're leaving some of the puffer fish behind. Excellent. He just runs immediately inside, puts it in a back lunch and comes back out. And then we'll put these up for sale as well. There there we go. <laughs> I'm double selling everything. The chef complained that he wasn't getting paid enough. So I gave him his raise, but I think I'm going to close and just fire him immediately <laughs> to teach the others a lesson. He was getting too good anyway. We want someone new. Like he actually had cooking skills by the end of that. Now that everything's in place, we need someone who's bad. Meanwhile, all these people are just waiting for me to come back. They want food. Oh my God, they really want food. <laughs> I've definitely found the right strategy. Okay, open the doors. That's all ready to go. I'm gonna cook some more pizza, and since it's the morning, we're making waffles. Whatever happened in the restaurant, this guy is openly weeping. Oh, wait, no, it's because of the grave. Yeah, I forgot. Oh, someone's pizza. Yeah, put an inventory. Put an inventory. Well, someone's down. I don't know who, but the Grim Reaper is here. Oh, it's this person. He's still choking. You ruined it for him. You only get to die once, man. Well, in Jim's case, a few times, but everyone else, come on. That was his one death, and you ruined the surprise. Well, as the light of God shines down, down on Jim, seemingly. He would scream, whoa, everyone in here is dying, people. This is so sad. But luckily, just outside, we have my food stall where I'll start selling right now. Ignore the grave. I hope this doesn't make the food stall look bad. Like, I'm just paying respect to them. Wow, I must say, business is booming. They just cleared the table. It's working. It's really working. Here, there's more food I swiped from tables. Oh my god, he's making a bomb of money now. And someone else is also cooking pizza. Thank you, I guess. That was weird. I don't know if someone else is dying or that was just PTSD. Oh no. Oh no, no I, it was not the sushi. It was it was something else. Old age, perhaps. Sorry. This is gonna turn into a 24-7 business. I need some lights. I'd like this place to be visible from space if possible. There we go. <laughs> Adley at the neighborhood's attention. It's like the most quaint country cottage out in the most quaint countryside and has these massive spotlights just for waffles and sushi. But hey, can't argue with results. This is going very well. Like, other than the dying thing. But that's a separate entity. It's Jim Bacon's the horse owns, owns the restaurant. I own the stall, you see. Totally different person who is also a human man. Oh my god, can you guys believe this happened? This is so crazy. Okay, go home, everyone. Go home, staff. Get out of here. Oh, if only we had a place to mourn. <laughs> 
<laughs> Pizza time. <laughs> yeah, he's already laughing. While that person is being banished to hell in the background. Mac up prices. Mac them up. Mac them up. 50%. 50%. Yes, money. Anyone else? Anyone else want pizza? I'm over here by the spotlights that are on 24-7. Day and night. I'm not sure which is worse. I hope the staff don't realize that I shower in here. Or that anyone happens to glance in through the restaurant windows. The night shift is over. <laughs> Let the new day shift begin. The restaurant runs in the day and I run the stall by night. I'll just take some of this puffer fish. If you don't come to your table in 15 seconds, it's legally mine. <laughs> Took it right in front of him too. Well, buddy, I may have saved your life. Unfortunately, someone else will probably die. This isn't where I sleep, by the way. This is just me being quirky, okay? Now I'm going to get into it and sleep, but as a joke. There you go. <laughs> it's a pretty good joke. Wait, who died? Was it me? No, it wasn't me. Okay, then it doesn't matter, I guess. Oh, there they are. They were hiding. Dimitris is very unsatisfied with his job. He's probably covered in leg oil burns and he just is responsible for killing someone. So yeah, I understand it. Oh no, he's got the knives. Okay, I feel threatened. I'm firing him. Come on, man. Get out of the coffin. It's urgent. We got a lot of people eating puffer fish in here. He's still cooking. I fired you. Go away. <laughs> you can't do this. New chef immediately runs in and starts cooking. Ah, you love to see it. Somehow this guy still dislikes the restaurant more. I guess this other guy's not around to change his review. Yeah, stinky. And look at all those graves. Oh, this place should close down. Okay, now you sell all of that stock and we'll do a bit of a rebrand overnight. That's right. We've done a makeover. This feels like when your favorite restaurant in town gets bought out and it kind of changes and you're just never all that comfortable with it. At least the shower is still there. The greeter got a promotion because he's getting pretty good, but he has to wear a hot dog. You know, I have to get something out of this transaction too. You know, this is great even on extra levels because the ghosts of the people I've killed show up to shop at my little food stall now. Like, look at that. The people I kill are just buying from me after they die. This is one of the best schemes I've had on multiple levels. What is going on here? What happened? All right, I'm not going to question it. I'm going to just say you probably need some food. I did change the dress code so that it's now sleepwear, but that's just being naked, man. Maybe he's trying to make the chef feel better? After all, the chef is always half naked. This place is a really weird vibe about it now. Oh yeah, now that I've redone the entire restaurant, it's rebate day. All object purchases are in a 10% rebate. Yeah, thanks a lot. Can I just cancel this? I don't want to see it anymore. Thanks. Hey Jim, it's me. Do you want to go out on a date? No, <laughs> unless you can come here and buy food from my restaurant. Wait, it's the waiter. How does this work? All right, request the table, I guess. Date unsuccessful. She left. I'm so confused. What just happened? Did she just get out of work early? Oh, that, that hot dog just quit. Oh, that sucks. He was like my best employee and he's just marching on out of here and he's keeping the hot dog suit too. That sucks. Oh, look who else is looking in the window. <laughs> it's the good old Grim Reaper himself. <laughs> I wonder why. Ah, well, he didn't like the business anyway. Two stars. Screw you, buddy. This person just came in and got seated and is browsing the menu despite what's going on in front of her. I think the waitress just came over and waited to ask him, like, is everything to your liking? They always come at the worst possible time, don't they? I think the Grim Reaper is just waiting for them to build up in there. He's either that or very socially awkward, this Grim Reaper, because he's not coming in. Uh, do you mind not dying right now? I'm trying to sleep here in my coffin and I can't sleep because of the irony. Harvest trash fruit. Yes, we need that for the restaurant. Oh, this person's dying. They're making sure they get every last little bite though. Well, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they're dying. There they go. Just wanted to make sure that it was in fact the puffer fish killing them. So they had another bite. Oh, that's another person dead. <laughs> they didn't like the restaurant anyway. I've pruned the bad people and I've built myself a reputation. I think I can turn this around. You know what they say? Any publicity is good publicity. Wait, where's he going? No, come back. Jim, uh, Jim, the restaurant, it was just going well. Come back. I I'm about to make it into a five star restaurant. Oh, now this is like the hangout spot for the Grim Reaper. He comes here so often. I don't know. <laughs> Okay, I guess we're going somewhere. Uh, when I was gone, they made a lot of money, but the reputation went way down. Don't forget you have an animal in a Sims inventory who's getting pretty unhappy in there. Let them be free. No, the goats must stay in my pockets. All right, I've come back here myself and I've made a few changes. I've increased the quality of the ingredients and got a new chef. Now that I've got like a start, maybe I can actually make something of this thing. Like we have the, the name, we have the reputation, a story behind us. I'm able to get a second chef now in my perk 
checkpoint. Okay, we now have two chefs and two places to cook. <laughs> it's getting a little bit claustrophobic in here. The ghost is cleaning up. That's fantastic. I got a four-star review from a critic. I heard some screaming. I don't know where from. Okay, I'll just ignore it for now. It's normal here. Every now and again, somebody dies. But in all fairness, this place is doing fantastic. Like, I know she probably disagrees, but we're at three-star restaurant. We're bringing a load of cash. The place just opened. And I've nearly got $400. Not to mention the food stall and all those nice gravestones I've collected. Honestly, there's no way to look at this other than through the lens of success. Well, as another valued customer kicks the bucket, I think it's a good time to call it a day. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. You can check out more of my content on screen if you choose to do so. And don't forget to subscribe. Turn on those notifications. Thank you very much. Bye for now.